Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking moonology. Hi, my name is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman. I'm an intuitive psychic medium here in the Sugarland area. That's just outside of Houston. When I was a little girl, I fell in love with our moon, and ever since, I have been energetically drawn to moon energy. I have studied moonology for quite a while, plus I enjoy teaching others about the different energies of each moon phase. Then combining that energy with our current moon sign, and you will come away with a great understanding of how both these energies will combine to influence each of us in unusual ways. If you like my content, please subscribe, like, and share. That's right, today we have our full moon in the sign of Pisces, September 10th, 2022. And our full moon, of course, is all about releasing and letting go and kind of um, kind of getting ready for that new moon in a couple of weeks. Kind of like, what else would you like to get rid of? What else are, is kind of like really overwhelming you right now? Now we have the sign of Pisces in this, and this is all about opening your compassion. And Pisces is the sign of the fish. So kind of like go with the flow is going to be really great. But I will tell you, not all fish go with the flow. Sometimes they need some time away. So this is a great time to kind of take a retreat for yourself, kind of take a few moments for yourself, or even do an extra special meditations over the next couple of days and allow that to, do, to kind of take over. Um, going towards water is going to really modify your energy as well. Going towards the ocean or a lake or just going to walk by a river, it's one of those, it is really going to amplify your energy Water is very important to Pisces because they fish love water. So being in flow at this time is going to be amazing. So being in flow, kind of like what else, if there's any obstacles, kick those out. That's full moon, kind of get rid of that energy, but allowing that to amp up for you. What is it that you're ready to move into? What is it that you're ready to get ready for? Does that make sense? Like, here we go. Okay, so let's do some angel cards and get us a little bit deeper insight into all things full moon in the sign of Pisces. And this one is literally vibrating in my hand. Body care. This is all about taking time for yourself and, and um, taking a break, taking time for yourself, kind of really taking care of you. We only get one body in this world, so it's one of those, take care of it. It's going to be amazing taking some time off, maybe getting your hair cut or your hair done. Um, maybe it's the time to kind of really relax and take things easy. That's what's going to be really important right now, allowing that to happen. New love. Um, kind of allowing the flow of new love things to come in around you, really important. Um, I know there are many things in my life that I love doing. And one of my new loves is I love doing crafts and it kind of puts both of those cards together as like it's a retreat for me, it's time off for me, but it's also giving me time to do some things that I really love to do or really enjoy doing and kind of not working with clients or doing a class or uh, doing something with my family. It's just me time and that sometimes we just need that really great me time. Retreat. Listen. Listen up. One of the things that's really important to understand about fish is they are always in communication with each other and it's more like a vibration. So allowing that time to kind of come forward to you, for you of allowing um, listening, of just listening to someone else, not talking to everybody else or kind of talking over someone else. Really take the time to listen to someone and what is it that their heart is telling you and that really does open up one more thing is open up your compassion and fish are all about compassion that Pisces energy is all about compassion and allowing that to flow and so when you listen to someone else and you give them your whole heart and you really really listen to what they have to say it makes them feel heard but it also makes you feel good too as well it's like I'm really opening up my energy and I'm helping someone else and I'm opening up my compassion and allowing um, their story to kind of really um, just be told in their own voice without interrupting without um, let me tell you something else about me or anything like that. Just allowing that to happen and allowing that energy to really flow for you. Study. This card has come up several times over the last few months about really kind of opening up to what is it that you would really like to do? What is it that you would really like to study at this time? Maybe there's a new book or a new uh, web show or whatever it is, seminar or something like that, webinar, and um, allowing that to kind of open up your energy. What is it that you're ready to study? And maybe it's study something new or different. And it's something that you haven't studied before. Kind of like, I really have an interest in this. And um, they're doing a webinar. They're doing a, a video on this. 
and watch it and really study some things that are really ready for you to open up into that energy of. My next card is all about ideas and inspiration and ideas come in from so many different places. One of my favorite things to do is go idea shopping and I love to go to different stores and just kind of walk around and kind of like, what are the ideas that I'm getting from this store? What are the ideas that would really resonate with me or things that I would like to do? Like I said, I love doing crafts. So that's always a great one to do is kind of like, what are the crafts that I can make myself or do myself and kind of add that energy to it? But also thinking about what is it that you would want to do? You know, I'm saying idea shop. What is it that you would like to create in your world? Maybe something you were, where you'd like to go. Um, it's one of those ideas and inspirations are all around us all the time. And that's a really great part for most of us is to kind of open up to that energy and allow that to come through. Um, our next card is all about friendship. Opening up to our friendships can be very um, compassionate and hearing their stories, but it's also about that reconnection. Think about that in the Pisces energy of like reconnection to someone that you haven't talked to in a while, someone that you really haven't um, opened your time up to or allowing them on your calendar too much. But it's one of those opening that energy from time to time can be really great, not only for you, but for them as well. I thank you so much for joining me today, and I know that we'll be talking again soon.